This was back in 2001, the first leg of the Champions League. Mamilodi Sundowns up against Al Ali. Great ball through from Dao to Kapamba. Kapamba puts it in the net. The late Ted Dimitru in charge of the club loved it. Then the boys switched off and they allowed this goal to give Al Ali a away goal to go up to Egypt with. Their small handful of supporters were ecstatic. And this is where we pick up the story. Egypt, 80,000 supporters. Al Ali against the Mami Lodi Sundowns. Similar to what is going to happen this weekend. When it's Sundowns up against Zamalek in Egypt. It is going to be a huge one. I've got... Two men who were involved in the game, Fabian McCarthy as well as Lavas Mutlala. Lavas, let me start with you. Because second leg ended up being 3-0 favor Al Ali. Where do we blame? Hi, Baba. I want to go to the game later, Baba. I'm going to go to the game later, Baba. I'm going to go to the game later, Baba. I'm going to go to the game later, Baba. Blame him on it. I was put on manager, but I got cool. Fabian, Fabian, you're being blamed for the 3-0. No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, where was Lavas? But look at the, the equalizer. Uh, what number are you seeing there? No, by no, that no, guy? no, 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 but you're being blamed. Let's take a look at why maybe there's a bit of blame. Because right, sure. there was a penalty in that match uh, that took place up in Cairo where 3-0 was eventually the final score. And is this why you're blaming him? Yeah. I saw everything so I was on the, uh, on the stands, actually. The stands. Coenza, never stands in. No, I was injured. I couldn't play. Then eventually, you know. There's Fabian, number four. Ah, Fabian. Hey, Fabian. Let me see again. Maybe we must call <laughs> El Professor to, to sort this one Mar out. Not ah, ah, nothing there. <laughs> <of course. laughs> Nothing then. You didn't see that you kicked the guy? Uh, you see, lovers, when are you were scared? No, oh, but when are you were scared, you were faking an injury. Uh, so it's cool. It's it's better what was the reason, though? Why would you want to fake an injury and be possibly scared? What happened there? Hey, um, fair today, you couldn't hear, I couldn't even hear Matthew Booth. See, so, uh, Matthew, Matthew. Crowd too much. So, the president, five, 500 Nyana people, just fly them into Egypt, fly them out after the game. Because... You know why I'm saying so, Thomas. If you in a foreign country, uh. you see your flag or the colours of your team, uh. you, you, you feel that to say, I have to double up to make, put a smile on those people's faces. And that for me, I think Sundowns can do it. So when you were there and you had a small Anyana complaint because of the difference between home leg in 2001 and away leg when you went to Cairo, what was the problem? I think, uh, Thomas, we didn't value the Champions League as much as we value it today. Uh, when you played Al Ali, they had eight players in the national team. And when you played there, we had 5,000 supporters at Loftus. Only 5,000. My ma Brazilian had 5,000. I mean, and then playing to Cairo. Cairo, you get to Cairo, you get 80 to 90,000. I posted on Facebook when they played the Zamalek at home. I said, uh, uh, fans, they become an extra player. Uh, uh, how Sandals did it here with uh, a full capacity in the stadium? Mm. There's the only way to go. But well, my advice to Sundowns is that go play the same game. How you played in South Africa, go play like that. So if you don't go there and do like this and I keep on blocking, our eyes don't knock you down. Fabian, do you agree? You're 3-0 no. up. He's saying go there and just attack. Look, Mina was saying they should have given them five. To just go there, honor the game, fetch the cup, Fetch a gold medal because this one, I know. Convert, Baba. No. Convert that one gold. is the one that doesn't have the star. Yeah, no, yeah. No. It's the medal, but no, no star. Yeah, you, but we've got a half star now. <laughs> until we get to GG just on Sunday. But we'll it's have awesome. A You've got a runners up medal in the Cap Champions League. Let's not take that away from you. Runners up. Look, for me, this is the best I got on the continent out uh. of the game. I mean, I never played in Europe or whatever. So for me, this is going to be gold on top of the gold they're bringing back on Sunday. Lucho already. Mina, Thomas. We believe in. Let me tell you something. They scored, Sundowns can score away from home. And I, I have a good feeling that they're going to score two goals. I don't care how many uh, uh, Zamalek is going to score. Your team couldn't score away from home. Back in 2001, you couldn't get a goal away from home. It's a different Sundowns, Bob. Listen, never mind the logistics this team has now. Tina, we never had it then. What do they have that you didn't have? They have everything. They, have, they have the stuff. Uh, they have the, the checkbook, uh, you know, they have uh, uh, the, the, the plane, they can book the airport there, make space, but the thing is get some supporters there. Don't get players that are faking injury there, because you won't hear them. I mean, you won't hear them. You, you, don't, I, 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 you know, when I saw him come, when we were in the bus, 
<laughs> he played in the first leg. He was at Loftus on the field. He played Lava Why okay. now? Fabian. There is where he started. I know. <laughs> Fabian, that's Fabian. Who doesn't want to play in the cup final, Baba? Uh, we are abandoned. No, yes, that's um, why the problem. The problem is that you want to be a fan of the long, long, limel and a cooling Baba. But one thing that I'll say is that you know what? It's not a matter of checkbook. I think Pito has built a team. It's a team of class. Goals that they score. It's a team that I always say to them is that sundown, so when they score a goal, you see it from the first touch to the second to the third touch. They don't just score any goals, like ordinary goals, like anybody else. I think t uh, uh, Peter's built a team, a strong team, a team that can able to compete with, uh, with top African teams. And I think going there, sundown's going to make it. And you know what? I wish we had a big screen where we'll ce celebrate the moment on Sunday evening. And maybe I'll go to my melodics of this or way. Yeah, or something. something like that. What can we expect, though? Because you guys have been to Egypt. What can they expect? And there's a, there's a story, I think. We've got a new story because this, where Teko Modise saw something on social media, I think we've got uh, something that I want to show you guys and to get a reaction from you because is this what will really happen when they get onto the ground? Um, there was on social media, I think Teko might have even seen it as well and had an idea of what was being said. But the Egyptians are very serious about this. They're doing whatever they can to try and get under the skin of the players. Here it is on your screens. You can read it a little bit at home, but the most important quote is there that went out to Teko. You have two choices, death or lose. In Cairo, you have no other choices. Look, death. I, I think when they start landing, uh, whenever they there already, or you know, they're gonna feel it. Death you, or lose, what Look, uh, you know, they 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 they'll say it in whichever way come. But this team has everything to overcome the Egyptians in Egypt. You mm. know, you know what's breaking your heart, what's making you cry, not for 24 hours or 48 hours. Maybe till the next final is when you spoil the party, Kokun Klu. Thomas, me, uh, the death part and everything, you know, when you get in the field of play, whatever happened to you, whether you got a funeral or whatever, you forget about those things. Mm. Uh, the main important thing is for you to go there and play. Uh, the, the, you know, the worst thing that I can think about is the referees. You know, the referees, they always contribute to Southern African teams to lose. Like his penalty. Y you know. Uh, uh, referees, <laughs> the, 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 the Southern Africa is not their favorite uh, 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 part. Uh. And the best way to do it is that I feel that as long as we don't give the ball away too much, as long as we make sure that whenever they mess, up, they mess around with our minds at the airport, at the hotels and everything, they can use those lasers, but there's nothing that we can do. If Kev cannot make sure that uh, they ban the lasers and all those things, Sanders must go there and play. We're lying on them, we're behind them, we're rallying behind them, and we'll make sure that, you know what, they'll make sure that they'll come with the trophy back here. Come with you, There you have it. Love us. Fabian, you've got your medals. Runners up. Will the team going on Sunday to take on Zamalek bring back the uh, winner's medals? That you'll find out on SABC One. Thank you, gentlemen, for sharing a little bit of the stories from 15 years ago where the two of them were part of that Sundowns team that went to the CAF Champions League final all the way up in Cairo.